Good evening Action Man fans and welcome to Gary's Action Man channel. In this episode I will look at the special team ground assault outfit. Conceived by Palitoy designer Greg Hughes, special team was a big departure from previous military outfits. It wasn't based on any contemporary or historical military gear but what a future soldier might look like. As with all my videos I will do an in-depth review along with history of the special team. Released in 1982, the range included Ground Assault, Arctic Assault, Underwater Assault and finally in 1984 the very rare Missile Assault. Special team outfits included a comic strip detailing their mission and also as a guide to putting equipment on the action mat. Pictured here is the Ground Assault version. The ground assault and arctic assault shared accessories, with some detailed differences between the two outfits. Special team also shared equipment with the SAS range, but again there were detailed differences. The form consisted of camouflage jacket and trousers. Jacket was secured by two press studs on the front of the jacket and the waistband of the trousers was elasticated. There were also two black elastic hoops on each trouser leg and they went over the feet of the action man helping to secure the trousers. There was also two fabric strips on either leg and you tied those round like that. Uh, reminiscent of the US paratrooper outfit from 1979. The camouflage scheme itself was oversized British DPM desert camouflage. There was a fabric sticker on the right hand sleeve that was black and went round the whole sleeve and there were two yellow slashes or dashes on the fabric sticker. The gloves with the special team ground assault were very similar to the Action Man Space Ranger range from a few years previously, but they weren't identical. Now, the sp if you look here, the detailing is very different. This is the Space Ranger white glove, and this is the special team, and the detailing is somewhat different. Notice as well, it has a much shorter, flatter profile than the Space Ranger glove. Special team has the, the slots at either side, the Space Ranger at the wrist. Note the lack of articulation with these gloves with a special team. Effectively that is, that is a closed hand and that, one, that will not grip any weapon or accessory whereas the Space Ranger can and not very well but it can do so. In fact this lack of articulation with the gloves was a major play issue with the special team range. Uh, completely defeats the object of the action man having gripping hands. Now it could be a design issue, uh, having a flatter profile perhaps, but ultimately it did negate its play value. Likewise with the boots, have the uh, boots here are from the special team. I've also got a Space Ranger boot, very similar but not identical. The special team is slightly larger, but the material is thinner. Note as well the detailing on each and on these boots is very different to each other. Now the helmet, this is the special team helmet. The special team helmets add this eagle sticker on the top. Note the clear plastic visor and what appears to be some kind of communication mic in the helmet, imitation of course. Studs at the bottom of the helmet. This helmet was very oversized for the action man so they solved it by including a rubber barraclava and that helped bulk out the head enabling the helmet to fit on the action man. 
and uh, not very securely by the way I mean these figures look superb displayed but I can remember having this in in fact this was the last action man outfit I ever had in 1982 and it soon became apparent that the helmet wasn't uh, wasn't very efficient and there was a baraclava these baraclavas are made from the same material as the action man frogman outfits and suffer from the same problems in that they perish and go brittle over time note as well unlike the action man diver hoods the uh, rubber extended over the shoulders the heart of the set was the intricate vinyl plastic webbing with combined haversack and ladder also included plastic silver water bottle and bayonet with scabbard Vinyl webbing was first introduced in 1979 with the US Paratrooper, the first outfit designed by Greg Hughes, who pioneered vinyl webbing after joining Palatoy the previous year. Vinyl was more cost effective than the previous cloth pouches and allowed more intricate and historically accurate webbing. Other examples Long Range Desert Group, Africa Corps Lands Corporal and 1980 Royal Marine Combat. The main webbing body had belts, straps and pouches moulded into one. Its two ammunition pouches were separate and attached via moulded loops to the waist belt. Note also chest straps and upper arm pouches. The bayonet scabbard attached to webbing in moulded frog and water bottle via moulded pouch. The water bottle was the silver squishy type. The haversack attached to the webbing via three straps that fixed into corresponding slots in the webbing. The haversack flap was fastened by two straps at the bottom of the haversack. The ladder which stores in the haversack comes in two sections fixed together by two straps. The haversack could be used as an extension of the ladder using straps and corresponding slots. The assault rifle was moulded in blue with attached vinyl yellow strap. The bayonet could be fitted under the barrel via handle ring fixing over the muzzle and the handle slotting into the bayonet lug via a slot in the handle. Now a segment on the EM2 rifle this accessory was based on. The EM2 assault rifle adopted by the UK military in 1951 it was a revolutionary design, being of a bullpup configuration with a magazine behind the pistol grip and capable of single shots or fully automatic fire. This gave the UK a considerable lead in small arms technology. However, the decision to adopt was rescinded the following year following issues with the standard calibre ammunition for NATO. When Palitoy concept designer Greg Hughes was tasked with designing the special team, his remit was to imagine what a soldier would look like 20 to 30 years into the future. And on many levels he succeeded. Communication systems in the helmet, more elaborate and intricate webbing, unusual exotic camouflage, and bullpup rifles accurate predictions where soldiers equipment was heading. I'd like to say big thanks to Tony Roberts at Analog Toys along with Alan Dawson from Amcon and Action Man HQ website for their advice and use of images in this video. I will post links to Analog Toys special team Space Ranger video along with other related videos in descriptions. Can I thank you all for tuning in this evening if I've got anything wrong or missed anything out, comment section below and look forward to seeing you all in the next episode.